There's many ways into fostering. You don't need to come in and do um, short-term fostering, which can be up to about two or three years. You can come in and do what we do, which is respite, which is you've got, you know when they're coming, you know when they're going, and you can manage it a lot better. We've had 10 children with us now this year. While they're here, they're safe, they're having good fun. They go back to where they're, where they're staying, and they, have a, they tell them all about what they've done with us. And you know, often they want to come back, um, which is, I think, success. To take a child who's perhaps not been swimming, or we took two to the beach, and it was like, oh, where's, you know, the, you know, the little little ones not been to the beach, and you think that's, that's a bit odd in my head. It's rewarding in that sense, and, and the kids, I hope, get live out of it, which is, is always a good thing to see them. And then they come back, we do get regularly, you come back quite regularly to see us. You'll have a social worker allocated to you, so uh, we have Natasha. Um, there's mentoring available if you want it from experienced uh, you know, uh, foster carers and there's a network of you know, people you can talk to, there's training as well, and loads. I've done lots of training in my career as a police officer, lots of training with the home office, uh, foster care training is really good. So I think just, just be aware that you can, you know, you're, everybody's got something to offer, um, you don't need to offer your whole life over and just do fostering as a living, I mean I, I work um, full time uh, in a busy job and we can still fit in.